All right. Uh, I haven't done a Rapid Thoughts video since the Amazon Prime Day where I vented about the way that Amazon handled that event and just how frustrating it was for users. And now I'm venting again because I'm tired of going in the comment box in YouTube or on IGN on Austin Evans PC versus console and other uh, videos, similar gaming videos like that and constantly seeing this PC versus console war, uh, ongoing debate that literally has no end because it has no point. And that is literally the, what was going, what I'm trying to, gonna head to try to get across to you guys is how useless and pointless it is to battle about which platform is better, Xbox, PlayStation, or PC. There really is no difference. It depends on your needs, all right? If you're trying to be, if you're just trying to game in your living room, and you want to have that full game experience on your HD TV, and maybe you want to watch some movies and stuff like that, and you kind of want that media center type experience, I would say instead of, be, of building a media center PC, just buy a console. But if you're trying to watch the movies that you have on your computer, or you're trying to store a lot of your movies onto a drive so that you and your family can enjoy them whenever, then that is a reason for a computer. That's when I would say build a media center PC that will also double as a place where you can play your games. And But most of the time, if you're gonna do that, you're probably gonna have a console once again anyways, right, that sits right there, right beside the media center PC. You know, and that's just how it is. It depends on your needs. When would you need a PC? If you're trying to do something more than just play games, you wanna do office work, you're, maybe you're a YouTuber and things like that, and you wanna try to consolidate all those things into one thing, so you don't have to spend ass loads of money on both console games and a console, and then PC games and the PC, you don't have that kind of money, you don't have that kind of time, build a PC and just be happy with that and you won't have to spend that much money. You'll just have to focus on whatever comes out on PC, and of course, you'll still be able to do an asshole more with it, with like storing up all the hard drive space, storing your movies, torrenting? <laughs> um, uh, you know, browsing the internet, and getting a whole lot of work done, stuff like that, schoolwork even, and all that can be done on the PC, if that is what you need. If you don't need any of that, you're just trying to watch movies and play games, buy a console, it does all that just fine. And the cost is really nowhere near less or more on either side. If you buy a console, you're gonna be spending money on accessories. You're gonna be spending money on controllers. You're gonna be spending money on cables and anything like that. So your total bill is gonna be almost 100 to $200 more than the actual price of the console itself. Not to mention that all your games on a console are around $59.99 average across the board and go up from there for your collector's items and all that other special type of stuff. On a PC, your video games can be cheaper because of Steam sales and stuff like that, so you can save some money there, but uh, first off, your games are still $59.99 for a lot of the games and you don't even get a disc. And then, they're not, not to mention, the cost for actually building a computer or buying one pre-built, yeah, you guys are running pretty much around the same price. So no one's really saving any money from by going console or going PC. It really comes right back down to needs. Not to mention, the whole damn thing is computers anyways. The Xbox and the PlayStation have AMD graphics in there. Okay, and back on, uh, I think it was the PS2 or PlayStation 3, somebody comment down below. It was either PS2 or PlayStation 3, you could actually run Linux on the damn thing. Just like a computer. Okay, they are just meter centers. They are just PCs. And it's just a tailored to Pacific users. All right, there is no war between these things. It is only, it always comes down to what do you need? What do you want? All right, there is no one's better than anyone else. You have your exclusive titles, yes, and God help the developers because we all know that a lot of them are just not good and they port games and they port them terribly, Batman. <laughs> and it then things just get out of hold. When it comes to developers, that's a whole nother video. Yeah, they will make or break a system if enough bad games comes out on a, on a particular console or PC. Yeah, and uh, as far as that concerned, PC's got the real shit under the stick when it comes to those uh, developer problems. 
But yeah, hey, that's how it goes. And but that's all I'm trying to say. Stop bickering and arguing and going back and forth with this nonsense. It really makes no sense. There's nothing to fight over. If you love PCs, that's something that you need. PC does everything you need. If you like consoles, that's something you need. It does everything you need and you don't want to spend money on anything else. Good for you. You don't have to go jumping in comments and talking about the PC master race, where the fuck that shit is. Or go ahead and talk about how great your Xbox or your P or your PlayStation is. Just save it, for God's sakes. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's enough going round and round. You guys have a good one. I just want to vent a little bit. Hit the like button if you don't mind my rapid thoughts videos. Get in the comment box. Let me know your thoughts about the PC Master Race or the PlayStation or the Xbox 360 and this whole stupid little war thing. Let me know your thoughts about it. I'll see you guys again. You have a good one. Bye.